Okay, children, we have seen how uh, the lesson part of uh, Reshma was sitting in school, how the parents of Reshma came to the school and how they felt there also, okay? So now it is time for us to do the activity part of this particular lesson and it starts with uh, tick, a tick mark with the correct answers. So here we have three sentences, one, two and three and for all the three sentences there are question actually, there are incomplete sentences for which we need to find the complete part, right? So there are some options A, B, C and B here, right? So we have four options there. What we need to do is we need to identify the part or the option with which we can best complete these sentences, right? So we need to read these sentences first. After that, yes, we need to check the options given A, B, C and D. And after that, we check with which of the correct, uh, which of the options given is the correct one with which we can uh, complete the sentence given there, right? So the first sentence is Reshma went to her school with her dash. So whom did she go to the school? Was it with her friends? Uh, after going to the school, she met her friends in the classroom, isn't it? When she went to the classroom, she found other students in the class, isn't it? That is when she met her friends. Now parents, yeah, father and mother, isn't it? Father and mother was uh, who was there with uh, Reshma. So parents is the right answer. Grandfather, grandmother, they didn't come, isn't it? So what is the right answer? Parents. Reshma went to her school with her parents. Reshma went to her school with her parents. Now the second school, all the children of Reshma's school gathered in the dash every morning. So as they were going, they, they came out of the car, they crossed the gate, they were walking and they saw something there and she said that we all gather here in the morning for the prayer services. Huh? There is a flag post over there, a flag pole on which the flags of uh, national flag would be hoisted during the special day. So what is that area? Was it assembly ground, playground, garden or a sick room? Will the students gather in a sick room? Sick room is a place only where those who are sick go to, isn't it? If they are well, not well with their health, they will be taken to the sick room. So sick room is not the answer. Garden, will all the students gather in the garden? No way. Playground, if it is occasionally, now and then they may join at the uh, playground, but not every day morning, isn't it? Yeah, so what is the, yes, the assembly ground. Every day morning, before the assembly starts, all the students gather there in the assembly ground before the prayers or reels, isn't it? Yes, so what is the answer? Assembly ground. Now, there were many toys in the dash. Music room, kids corner, sick room, playground. Will we keep any toys in the playground? We want to keep any toys in the playground, so playground is not the right answer. Sick room, who will play in the sick room? Yeah, when you are not well with your health, you will be taken to the sick room and you will be kept there, isn't it? Nobody will play there, so no option. Kids corner, maybe, as the kids may play with the toys, there may be. Music room, music room, we may have musical instruments, isn't it? Not a Toys. So what is the right answer? It's corner, isn't it? So we have a lot of toys in the kids corner, right? So we will check the uh, sentences once again. Reshma went to her school with her parents. Reshma went to her school with her parents. All the children of Reshma's school gathered in the assembly ground every morning. There were many toys in the kids corner, right? So I'll keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that uh, you can read all the three sentences. Check with other options also, right?
Now, answer the following questions. We have some questions from this lesson and we need to find the answers for them, right? So, what is the first question given there? Say, how did Reshma go to her school? How did Reshma go to her school? The answer, Reshma went to her school by car. Reshma, along with her parents, went to the school by the car, by a car. Now, the second one. Where were the music and the dance classes held? So, as Reshma was going with her parents, introducing each and every room, they came to some room over there and they said, that this is where we learn music, dance and all. So, what was that room where they learned these things? The music and the dance classes were held in the activity room. There was one more thing there, na? Take one no? Yes. So, in the activity room. Now, the third one. What were kept in the computer room? So, they said there was a computer room also, computer lab also there where they used to go to weekly once. So, what was kept there in the computer lab? Yes, computers were kept in the computer lab. There was a lot of number of computers there on which they did the practicals on the uh, screen, right? Okay. Now, who praised Reshma? Who praised Reshma? Who was that? Uh, the teachers praised Reshma. They told that she is a well-behaved girl. She studies very well. Everybody likes her, isn't it? Yes. Now, the fifth question. Pick out two pairs of rhyming words from Reshma's song. Example, soon noon. So, in the last, as they went in the car, they sang a song. She sang a song about holidays, isn't it? Yes. So, what are the other two rhyming pairs that we can take from this poem? This uh, song. See? Holiday, May, ends, friends. So, two other rhyming words are holiday, May, ends, friends. Right? So, these are the five question answers. Now, you will have all the five questions on your screen and you will have two minutes time to read the questions and the answers. Okay? So, now these two questions, all the five questions will be there on your screen now. Uh, you can read the questions and the answers once again. Clear?
morning children so the lesson part was completed by us in the last class isn't it yes so it's a time for us to do something with the gram right it's time to have some fun with the gram right so um i'll write some sentences on the board for board first and then we will go on to the gram part mm okay i'll divide the board into two first right so on the first side i write i have a book okay and another side i write he has many books okay now i can see a star i can see some stars right there is a flower there are some flowers he is my friend they are my friends so let us look at this sentences i have a book he has many books i can see a star i can see some stars there is a flower there are some flowers there is he is my friend they are my friends right so in this box two boxes um what does this mean i have a book means i have a one book with me is it he has many books means what what he has more than one book isn't it he has a more than one book so book means one books means a more than one is it now i can see a star a star means only one star there i cannot see more than one star there but what does this say i can see some stars some stars means he has more than one stars are there okay i can see more than one stars over there third there is a flower a flower means only one flower there are some flowers means more than one flowers are there is it right yes so he is my friend friend means only one friend but uh, they are my friends means what the friends means uh, more than one friend is it right yes so i will uh, remove those areas which we do not need as far as our this class is concerned right okay so in the first part i have cleared these things because we need only a book star flower friend right in the second part we do not need uh, these things some okay so we have now those parts which we want right now book means only one books means many is it star means one stars means main flower means only one flowers means main a uh, friend means only one friend is there friends means a uh, main okay 
So this particular column deals with only one and this particular column deals with the more than one. When we refer to only one thing that is called a singular. Okay. So when we are dealing with only one thing at a time, then we call that thing as a singular. A book is a singular and books as a more than one, isn't it? Yes, that is called a plural. Okay. So one means a singular, more than one means a plural. Right? Book is singular because it deals with only one book. Star. Singular because it deals with only one star. Flower. Singular because it deals with only one flower. Friend. Singular because it deals with only one friend. When it comes to plural, we have books. Means a number of books. It can be two books, five books, ten books, hundred books, thousands of books. It's books. Minimum two. Maximum can be any number. Okay. That is what a plural is. More than one. Okay. Now, stars. How many stars are there? If you are talking about only one star in that, then it is singular. But when you look at the sky at night, how many stars can we see? When we say stars, it can have all the stars that are there in the, in the sky. So that is a plural. Now, flowers. When we say flower, we are talking about only one flower. But when we say flowers, it can uh, mention all the flowers in the garden. There can be hundreds of flowers there. Doesn't matter. It's more than one and that is a plural. Right? Now, friends. Friend means only one person. Friends, it can be the uh, other students who sit along with you in your bench. Your entire class can be your friends. The entire school also can be your friends. Isn't it? So singular means one and the plural means a more than one. Okay. Many. Many means a plural. One means a singular. Okay. So how we have to understand this? One means singular and many means a plural. Okay.